Welcome back to the Boomin channel. My name's Lexi. Now, it isn't often that you can find a luxury London three bedroom apartment whose walls have been rocked by some of the biggest bands from the 60s. Well, this one has. So come with me whilst we take a tour of this 3.25 million pound home, which is London meets LA meets musical history. Let's go. Boomin, thousands of homes to buy and rent nationwide and features to get you ahead of others. Oh, if I can get the door open. Right, let's check this out. Oh my goodness. Just wanna to touch it. <laughs> and it slides, look. Okay, let's see what's behind it. Can you guess what's behind it? What do you think's behind it? Oh yes, the work from home office. Gotta have somewhere to work from home. Yeah, I think I could work from home here. Set it up nicely. Look how high the ceiling is. I mean, I'm a tiny little person and it's massive. So the three bed flat is split over the ground floor and the lower ground floor, but there's still so much light coming in from every aspect. You've got the double height doors over here and then you've got a whole wall of crittle doors that's just letting light in wherever you look. Dining space. They've even got the champagne on ice for us ready to go. Yes. I like this, I've had a small party here today. <laughs> so, little bit of history, this place was actually built in 1913 um, and it was originally like a little hall for the community, like a community hall. Um, and then it was actually turned into a music venue. So they've had the Rolling Stones here, they've had the Who here. And this is like buying your little piece of London history. Right, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, it goes on and on. Oh, it's like a catwalk in the kitchen. It's a sexy kitchen, isn't it? Built in microwave, nice. Fridge, cool, everything, everything that you need. Wonder if there's a dishwasher. This is one of those things that I cannot live without. Yeah. And over this side is an interesting room. So although this is set up as a gym at the minute, there is so much that you could do with this room. I mean, personally, I would make it into a little bit of a dressing room. And I've even seen on the Boomin Property Playground, like loads of inspo for beauty rooms. So that would be a really, really good idea. So the Boomin Property Playground is basically like full of inspiration and images and even things to buy. A massage bed! I mean, come on! I'm really tempted to get on this. Like, I feel like I would just be ready. More than that side. Let's go. <laughs> so we'll go into the master suite or the main bedroom first. Oh wow. Yes. Now I have a lot of clothes, so this is something that we're gonna have to pass the test on. How many clothes can we fit in the cupboard? Oh yes. Yeah, that'll hold part of my wardrobe. I love how this house is on so many levels. It's all split up all over the place. This is the main bedroom. Oh, and look, you look out onto the beautiful garden. It's very like Japanese themed garden, isn't it? This is where your friends can sit when you're getting ready in your dressing area. Yep, you can sit here, read a magazine, have a cocktail, ready for the girls' night out. And then the bed is it's massive. I reckon you could fit four people in this. But I do think that I've spotted a little secret door here. Look at this for an ensuite. You've got bathtub, you've got separate shower. It's a dream, the dream ensuite. I mean, look at these windows. You can tell this place was built in 1913. They've kept that, but they've made it so super modern inside. Love it. Right, so now that we've done the main bedroom, we're gonna head out to that second, pretty awesome outside space. Now this is bringing all the LA vibes into London. But before we get there, this is another little surprise, a second living space. Now I hear you asking, why do you need a second living space? That's because this is a projector on the ceiling, which will project onto this lovely clean white wall behind us here. Um, and this is set up for movie nights. It's Friday night cinema right here. Pass me the popcorn and we're good to go. 
And I know what you're thinking, it's pretty light in this room right now, isn't it, with all these windows, but you've actually got shutters that will come down and make it black out so you can really enjoy your movies. And then we go out through these amazing crittle doors, like again, keeping that kind of like industrial vibe out into the garden. And exactly like I said, it really brings that kind of LA vibe. Um, yeah, mixing all the different cities up to be honest, because you've almost got like a Kyoto, almost like Japanese water feature that's in the garden as well. And the most lovely kind of seating area. Which yeah, you could chill out here. Definitely. When the sun's out, you bring it out here. And I think this place is so set up for entertainment, isn't it? You've just got everything going on. And I just love all the accessories and all the interior design that's gone into this space as well. I mean, look at the orchids, if you could spot me through them. <laughs> and this bit of art here, again, when you mess around on like the property playground, you can kind of put in your own little features and get an idea of how you'd want to style something yourself, which is so much fun. And I wish I had a story about this, but I don't. But we think that, you know, this is the lovely coastline and this could be London. So if we look at this as like Canary Wharf, we're currently here in Putney. You've got your own balcony space so you can like look out over everything that's going on downstairs. Keep an eye on everyone, see what they're up to. Okay, bedroom two. Again, that all important like work from home space here as well. Nice, nice setup. Oh, I like the grey, love the grey theme in here. Really classy, cute. So little ensuite, little shower, but look, if I can fit in the shower in these heels, you know you're good. We're good. And then this is our final bedroom. Oh, this is such a little snug. This is so cute. Oh man, you can have the best sleepovers here. So cute. Oh my goodness, what a fun day that was with Boomin and Fine and Country. Looking around Hotham Hall, which is just so grand. Absolutely loved it. We definitely found our unique property. So whatever you're looking for, you can probably find it on Boomin as well. So go and have a little look. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you soon.